Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a part two to my pre-spring haul, but this is more of a spring kind of haul. We're already in spring. It's 70 degrees here in New York City. Finally, it's been a nice week. Give you guys what I picked up over the course of the last, since the last time I actually went shopping and showed you guys. So I'll leave the link up here. So let's just get into it. I have a lot of things to share. I'm going to start off with what I have on my lap just because... I have things that I just, just to get it out of the way so I can just throw it over there. So the first thing I want to share is this nice basic white short sleeve top. Now I know it looks all wrinkly. I haven't even worn it yet, but what happened was when I, um, the day I bought it, I decided to try it on to see how it fit and I made the stupid mistake of actually... I opened up a can of something and it splashed all over me and well this whole section was all wet and I wasn't sure if it was gonna stain or anything so I had to wash it so that's why it's all crinkly but I got this at rainbows for about $13 and I think it's a mega steal and I cannot wait to wear the next two items are actually from HSN and they're by the brand G by Juliana Rancic I'm pretty sure everybody knows who she is um, but I really fell in love with these jackets. They were originally like, I think, 60 or probably $80. But they were having their clearance because she was having her new stock come in. And I fell in love with these jackets. I actually want to go back and buy more because they still have some up. These are... I am obsessed. I haven't worn these. I actually took off the tag today and all the things that I had on it because I thought I was going to wear it today because it was so nice outside. But I decided to wear what I'm wearing now. So I got this one in this beautiful cognac color. I just love it. It has like that um, snakeskin print. It's faux leather. It's not real. And then it has just this nice pleated back. So that way when you want to wear like a longer shirt, it looks beautiful on. I got this in an extra small, but I wish I had taken, um, gone with my gut and taken the extra, extra small. Because I wanted a fitted kind of leather kind of jacket and this one is, is perfect but I have to roll up the sleeves if I want that edgy look but I really really like it and I got the flex paid so I paid only $12 for both of them actually because it was $24 on sale and then I got this one which is the same exact jacket that has like all the tags and everything on it and it, they both come with the Juliana Rancic hanger this one's just more of a smooth kind of faux leather as where the other one is snakeskin print and it's just the same thing. I love them. I cannot wait to wear this one with the white pants that I'm going to share with you. A pair of pants that I actually picked up. I've been obsessed with pants lately. I have no idea why. But I am. So the next pair, oh, the first pair of these jet um, jeans by John Ash Ash Ashaya. I don't know. But I've been wanting these pants for a long, long time. They were, I think they're around $200. And I, I just can't justify spending over $30 on jeans, let alone $200. But let me tell you, designer jeans are perfect. Um, especially when they're pre-loved. I got these on Poshmark. Well, I got them on eBay, but the girl was selling it on Poshmark as well. But I got these and I just love them. They're just basic. They are made for um, a taller person, so I had to roll them up, but it's okay because I roll up all my jeans anyways. And then they just look like this, and the one just basic slit, like distressed part, and that's what I wanted. I already have a pair of jeans with both. I just wanted a basic pair with one slit. Thing I got from Poshmark as well were these black orchid Los Angeles jeans. Now I've wanted these forever, but again, two hundred dollar jeans out of my mind. Um, but I got these. I got that one for I think twenty. No, I got those for like about twenty dollars, and this one as well for twenty dollars, like twenty something dollars. And they were pre loved, but in both immaculate condition. I just love them. And what I love about this, they're so soft and comfortable. And they, I don't have to roll them up. They just fit perfect on. And I just, I love them. They're just so comfortable. And they're that perfect denim. And uh, I just love them. So it is probably worth it paying $200 for a pair of jeans. Next pair of pants, which I'm definitely going to be rocking the crap out of these in the summer and spring. And these are just jeans. Uh, 
These are just white basic jeggings from the brand Hue. I got these brand new off of eBay. And they were they were $11 from like I think they're originally $20 and up or something like that. But because they were new with tags, it had tags and defects. This was the defect. You can't even see that. But I mean, hey, I snatched up real quick before somebody else saw that too. And they're just a size small and they fit perfect again with this. They have like a metallic feel through the seams but you can't really tell but i love them i cannot wait to wear them again rolled up because you know short people problems um then i have i bought three for ten socks and i have the other one over there but i have just i only wear either white gray or black socks the, the last um clothing item i actually got it's this it's another piece by g by juliana rancic but i got these off of ebay they were new with defects and to be honest, they're size 2. I I thought they were going to be like a little tight. These things are like humongous on me. So I'm definitely selling them for like $15 on Poshmark or eBay. Just check the link down below. I'll leave it there. And they just still have the tags. They do have a little bit of like dirt on them because that's how they came to me. But um, yeah, they definitely do not fit me. If you're 5'4 probably and under, it's definitely not perfect for you guys i'm five feet and they were not happening for me shoes from forever 21 now in my previous haul i had mentioned that i ordered shoes from forever 21 and they hadn't come in yet so these are them I've been obsessing over white loafers for the longest time. I had found a pair at, on Threadflip. They were, they were brand new with tags. And they were real leather, made in Italy, everything. But they did not fit at all a size 6 foot. They fit more like they were a 5 or a 4 or something. But these were perfect. They're listed as gray on their site light gray but they're they're just white they're white to me and i cannot wait to wear them on to the makeup bits because these are the items that i was going to share with you guys the last haul but they never came in it took longer than i thought hsm they sell Too Faced cosmetics and they tend to have flex pay that's how i get my, most of my things i get them from from flex pay um you just buy now and you just pay monthly so I got this and I got this on Flex Play for $16. It was a chocolate bar palette. I'm pretty sure you guys all know what that is. It's my go-to palette nowadays. It's all I use and it came with this, um, the Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm not really a fan of this and I really, really wanted to love this. I was fiending for this and I just, I don't like it. So I highly recommend HSN for like makeup and stuff like that. They have Benefit Cosmetics as well if you're into that. It's by Colourpop. Now, I had two of these because, um, just, I, I don't really want to get into it. I was going to make a rant video about it. If you guys want me to talk about ColourPop's shipping, let me know in the comments below. But honestly, this is my first and last order with them. Never again. This liquid lipstick in the Lumiere 2, not really a fan of it. The last makeup bit that I got was just this H&M Lip Color To Go pencil. And, oh my god, it smells amazing. And I love this. I guess they're kind of like the dupe for the NARS ones. But this is amazing. I love this. And the story behind it was just, oh my god, it's it's just funny. But um, nonetheless, I just got this one. And it was only like $6. got this retinol cream. And not because I think I'm aging and because I'm 23. I was having, having a really bad breakout. And I feel like I say this in every video that I film. You guys are sick of me saying it. I had a really bad breakout and it was killing me. On this it was an acne kind of retinal cream it helps you live a look ageless as well as get rid of your acne and it's actually been working knock on wood because my skin has been getting better and I'm really excited thanks to this and it was on eBay for like $11 I'll leave the link down below for this they opened a Dollar Tree next to my house so I just went in since it was new they didn't really have much but I picked up two candles. These are aromatherapy. One is stress-free, and then I have just this yellow one. I And they just both smell good. I 
I also bought this jewelry tray. Well, I don't think it's a jewelry tray, but I put my jewelry on it. I got it in like the candle section, so if you're looking for that. The last bits I have here are both jewelry pieces. This one, again, from HSN. You guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Someone please don't stop me because I love it. I got this beautiful ring here. It just, it's hard to see. And it's diamond cut all around it. It's just amazing i just i love this it's just such a beautiful statement piece every time i wear it, i get compliments it was on sale for like 12 dollars from 50. the last one here is from etsy i really wanted these earrings for a while but people were charging like an arm and a leg for these earrings and i just i couldn't deal with it so i just got these little studs the bar studs they're like i guess the new trend in this cute little box they're fairly new to etsy so i'll leave all their information and you can go check it out they have beautiful jewelry for very great steals i only paid they were eight dollars plus three dollars shipping because i live in new york so yeah i love it and i cannot wait to buy the silver pair that's sad that's everything in my haul i feel like i've been talking forever sorry you guys if you're tired of hearing me talk but I feel like I haven't filmed in a really long time and I really just wanted to get back into it and keep talking and, you know, get out there and share with you guys what I got. So let me know in the comments below what you recently bought. Also, are you excited for spring? Don't forget to thumbs up this video for more, more hauls. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well. So bye guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for sticking around.